Okay, so this video is going to show you, this is another combination video where you're going to be using, you could say leftovers, but in this case, this was an gorget zucchini squash dinner with Italian seasoning on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drain this using this strainer. We're going to put it in a casserole dish. We're going to add to it some delicious whole baby bella mushrooms. We're going to add some tofu to it so that we have some, some protein in our dinner. And we're going to add to that classico fresh basic garlic and tomato and basil sauce and I think that's going to tie it all together. I'm not going to add any seasoning to it because good amount of Italian seasoning in it. So this is just another way that, that you can use your leftovers where you can use a dinner and make a meal out of it. Come and watch how I put this meal together. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living! So what I've done is I've taken the leftover dinner and I've placed it on the bottom of a casserole dish and I leveled it out. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the mushrooms, baby bellas, and I, it doesn't take very much. Now you don't need to put this in because it's very strawy. And I'm going to cut it in slices and I'm going to show you. I'm going to bring this forward and I'm just going to lay it on top like so. And I'm going to do this for the next three mushrooms. So now you do need to warm up your oven. We're going to bake it. It's already set at 350 degrees and we're going to start it. And it's starting should be starting now. It says it's 100 degrees, but we know it isn't. And then it will slowly, it'll beep and let me know when it's ready. Still doing mushroom duty. So once I got this done, you see, what I've done is I've cut these in fairly almost three quarter, well, half an inch slices, and I stuck it them on top. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to introduce the tofu to it. What I've done is I made a slit into it, and I drained the water out of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut half of it. Package says it's four servings and each size is three ounces. This is two servings. I pick it up and I'm just going to lay it on top. Now, the way I take care of this, because this is still good, put it inside a container. I happen to know this container fits perfectly. And I'm going to surround it with water. And every day I drain the water. So it needs to have fresh water every day. And then you can keep it in your refrigerator and make it last until you decide to have another meal where you can use it. We're just simply going to cube it. And it's going to have the tomato sauce on top of it. And it's going to capture that flavor because tofu by itself doesn't have much of a taste. Okay, once that's done, the final ingredient is simple. It's going to be the sauce. The sauce the sauce itself is going to have herbs and the ingredients are tomato puree, diced tomatoes and juice, which is tomato, tomato juice, citric acid, calcium chloride, contains 2% or less of olive oil, onions, salt, basil, garlic, spices, natural. So this is vegan. It happens to be, it says right here, gluten free. So if you, this is, there's no gluten in it. Okay, so the oven has reached its temperature of 350 degrees. So open the door, put in your casserole in. I'm putting it on mine on the top shelf in the middle and you're gonna leave it in there for 30 minutes. You're going to go to your clock, your timer, whatever you use, put in your 30 minutes, you don't overcook it. And then you leave it alone until the ringer starts to ring. So the timer is wrong. Take a look at it in the oven. And we're gonna use some oven mitts. Okay, now it's time to being in the oven for 30 minutes. And just take it out and put it on top. Close the door and turn off your oven. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can see the tofu is resting very nicely around the tomato sauce and there's the mushrooms. There is a, quite a bit of liquid in here, which is why we wanted to drain it. Now we're gonna serve it on a plate. So I'm choosing a bowl because it's gonna be very liquidy and I'm just grabbing a full spoons of it. Now it's gonna be hot. Now this would be perfect if you had some croutons or if you had some more. I forgot to do the taste test. So we're just gonna take a little bit and it's got the, the flavor of the sauce. Here's the tofu. Yeah, it's a very delicious meal. All right, so instead of putting this in freezer bags, I think it would probably take about two freezer bags, I decided to put it into a plastic container which I'm gonna store in my fridge and we'll be able to make more meals with this. Though I won't be using this for any, for any extended meals, this will just be like another dish that I'll be able to have later on. Thank you again for watching and I hope you look forward to seeing my next unusual vegan menus. Bye bye. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.